Navar, my question for you. Yes. And be honest uh, about the trade rumors with Lonzo. Uh -huh. Truly, mentality is so important in this game. Where is his head at? With his name being in the discussion. Where's Lonzo's head at right yeah, now? Truly. Me, me, truly, personally, he's like, whatever y'all want to do is fine. That's, that's how Alonzo roll. Okay. He not, he not like me where it's like, man, he's not going to get an attitude. He's not going to point fingers. Should he, he be more like he, you? He, he's, no, no, no. He can't be like me. He got to be like He got to be like himself. <laughs> he got to be like himself. And I tell all my boys that don't try to be like each other. Be, be who you are. Right. And, 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 and coming from uh, South Central, I'm going to be a little more boisterous, a little more meaner. Mm -hmm. uh, your alpha dogs are going to come from the hood. They're not going to be team players, not too much, on the fact that they're trying to get out of a situation. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be like, hey, man, it's all me. I got I to gotta work for my family. I got to yeah. do this. Mm -hmm. As opposed to team-oriented. I've been to shelter my boys in Chino Hills. You ain't got to fight nobody. You, you're just good. Just come on, work out, son. You have a good time. Right. Mm -hmm. So his mindset is like, well, however you want to guide me, if, you, if you're with me, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it. But no, I'm not going to be like, uh, even if I want to say it, he's not going to say nothing. He's just going to be like, you know what? If you trade me, I'm going to make this team go. If you keep me, I'm going to do what I can to make this team go. Mm. But if you keep me and Luke is there, Lonzo understands loyalty. So it's the point of no return between it's, him and Luke Walton. Him and Luke Walton, there's no return? No. Because so now, saying that. Yeah, saying it's, it's, it's no over. return. It's over. No matter what he does, he can be like, Lonzo, you're the best player and we're going to start you all the time. Okay, until you have an attitude and do something again. So I'm intrigued by your, your idea of building a ball dynasty yes. with the Phoenix Suns. Yes. Because you're going to the bottom of the toughest conference, right. and you're saying we're going to build it from scratch. There you go. But, yes. but you're including your other two sons in this be. equation. Got to be. Have you spoken to anybody with the sons about this idea? I haven't talked to anybody about the sons. This I need is all to talk. You. This is all me. Okay. If they want to listen to it, fine. Somebody is going to be out there, and like I tell my boys, you end up. I think everybody ends up where they're supposed to be. Everybody ends up, regardless if you put the time in to get where you want to be, or you don't put the time in. So don't get mad if you're down or here, and don't get mad if you're up here, if you put that time in. And, that, and that's, why, that's why I look at things like this, like, I've always told my boys to be the best players in the world, and we're just getting started. Five years go by, some guy asked me, what do you think is going to happen? I said, man, my boys would be the face of the NBA, because everybody's going to be getting old. Everybody can get know my boys is going to be coming in the light. And guess what? When you build it from the bottom up, the foundation is good. That's like the big ball of brand. We're still talking about it. That was supposed to be a hit and miss. Lonzo in the league. It's a done deal. And I'd probably go, oh, Oliver, I ain't heard from you. I ain't seen you. That's because you're looking at me as Lonzo's dad and not as a CEO of a, a brand, right. not of water. I'm a businessman. Mm -hmm. I got to go do other things. I can't just be sitting there and people, oh, we didn't hear you say this about that. Yeah, well, you're not because mm -hmm. I got two other sons right. that's not in the league and I got to do some other things to get them noticed to get in the league. Because our bottom line is, is point A is to get all my boys in the league. Second thing is I want them all on the same team. So however that happens, that's you, that's... you realize the odds are like a billion to one. Billion to one. one. You, you, know, you know what's the odds of uh, coming in the league with your own brand? How about four billion to one? Mm -hmm. But what if it doesn't happen? What do you mean? Was I'm going to keep working until it does. I'm going to keep working until it does. And guess what? It's going to happen. Somebody going to be out there and say, you know what? This, this, is, this, this really works. How good could the youngest son become? The youngest son could be the best one on the fact that he gets to watch the other two. Jello has the potential to be the best on the fact that he's the biggest and the strongest. Well, what know, is he now, height-wise? Who's that, uh, Melo? Yeah. Melo, 6'7". 6'7". Melo, 6'7". On his way to, could he be 6'? Six... I told him he's going to be the tallest. He's about 6'8", about 6'9", six, six, easy. Okay. Everybody's going to be over 6'6", six, because six, I'm 6'6". Six, six. So everybody's 6'6", six, six and above, on the fact that they get a couple of more inches from my wife being 6'1". True. So, Lamelo. Yes. Sh as shooting goes, he's by far the best, right? Shooting goes, yeah. no, Jello, Jello. Jello's the best scorer in my family. Really? Yes, by far. Jello played on everybody's team. That's the middle piece. Hmm. Lonzo does great with him. Yet nobody in Melo the does NBA great has with any him. respect for the middle side. Nobody has nobody. no respect. Nope. He's the coldest two guard in the NBA. What, what, what is it? What is it about him or what is it about what? his game that I, they don't like? What is it about his game they don't like? Yeah. They, they, they love his game. But being in the middle, you, you got to you gotta kind of take what comes with that middle thing, which right. is not a lot. Of, you right. can't. Can't have three monsters, even though I got three monsters. Right. Jello. Jello. Jello in the middle had to take a lot of flack. The reason he get drafted, 
situation he did out of all my boys. But I told him, you take one from the team, for the team. And this is how I explained it to him. You know you shouldn't have did that. Right. Hey, you go to UCLA, you ball out of control, you're top 10 pick, LeVar does nothing, get our money, we go. Right. But by you doing that, I snatch Melo out of Chino Hills. I snatch you out of UCLA. I go overseas. Mm -hmm. I make connections over there. Without that, I don't have no water. Mm -hmm. I don't have a JBA. I don't create the JBA. Right. I don't go overseas. All this stuff doesn't happen. I just sit back. Yeah, we, we fine. So you make the worst of a, you make the best of a bad situation. Well, yes, and so that's the route he has to go now, where everybody has to say, you're not that good. Okay. Now, imagine he had UCLA and he lighting it up. And now he's top 10 pick. Now, I don't worry about no other league. I leave Melo at Chino Hills, let him do what he do. But we don't, we don't do these other avenues. Nothing cre is created by this. I don't have my own league. I don't have my own ball. I don't Mello have my will own be water. Is it Mello, Mello will be Mello's eligible, eligible man, for college. All right. I wish yes. we had more time with LeVar, but appreciate yes, you being you here today. We'll yes. be right back. Yes, thank you. But see, <laughs>